Hi, my name is Brian. Today, I wanted to share with you this LED lighting setup behind me that you can put together for a fraction of the cost of what this would typically run you if you were to use professional film lights to set it up. Let's get into it. So this video isn't about what's lighting my face right now, my key light, that's an Aperture 120D Mark II, fantastic light, but it's about these lights behind me right here, these LED light bars. And so these are similar to if you've seen one of Parker Walbeck's videos um, where he has some lights in the background providing a cool ambient glow behind him. Uh, it's similar to that. However, those lights cost a little bit under $400 per light. These guys are about $8 per light. So when you're looking for bang for your buck, you're not gonna find a better deal for a quality light than something like this. So let's get into how I have them set up. So these are Barina 20 Watt LED shop lights. They output a bunch of awesome light. As you can see, I have them mounted vertically on some Amazon basic stands, just using two rubber bands per light. These stands are awesome, super cheap, super lightweight, and these lights are super lightweight as well. Uh, you can mount them with some scotch tape, maybe even some Velcro, uh, spider web, whatever works really. And then I have them all running to an extension cord that is all just coming over to this electrical outlet over there. Super simple. These lights are also plastic, not glass, so you don't have to worry about glass shattering all over set when you're transporting them, when you're moving them around, so that's another big plus. There are some downsides when comparing this setup to more expensive options like Quasar Science LED light bars, but worry not, we have solutions to help combat those downsides, so let's go over those really quick. So these lights aren't battery powered, they do require an AC outlet to run. However, you can bring extension cords to set or you can also bring a generator or even a V-mount battery with an AC adapter and plug them in if you need to use these lights on the go or move them around a bunch. Next up, these lights aren't dimmable out of the box. They're either just on or off. The retailer who sells them on Amazon says they can't be used with a dimmer at all. Um, however, there is a YouTuber who has used them with a dimmer and said it worked, so it's kind of up in the air there. I always have them on full brightness in the background, so I haven't tested them with a dimmer yet. So finally, these aren't RGB LED lights. Uh, it's just a nice bright white light of 6,500 Kelvin. However, another YouTuber had an awesome solution to this. Um, he uses colored masking tape to put over the lights so you can give it a green tint, a red hue, or a yellow one. And the cool part about that is with most editing softwares nowadays, you can actually change the hue in post. So let's say a scene like this where there's no blue in the scene, put some blue tape over the lights and then you can actually change that blue to purple, green, red, whatever you want in post-production. So huge shout out to iFilm Pro Media for that awesome tip and check out his channel if you wanna see some cool music videos and other film tips. So two quick technical things about these lights. They have a CRI of 85, which is color rendering index, which basically is a number that represents how well they reveal colors true to form. And so as you can see right here, I'm actually using one of these lights right back here as a hair light or you know a little outline on my shoulder here. Um, if I turn that off, you can see kind of fall into the darkness a little bit. So it's awesome for a hair light in that sense or lighten up the background but it might not be the best to use one of these as a key light. Next up, these lights don't flicker at various frame rates and shutter speeds that I tested, which is awesome because sometimes LED lights, you have this weird flickering that goes on and you have to adjust your shutter speed. But um, yeah, these ones don't. So that's another huge plus for these lights. So that's that. These lights are absolutely awesome for the price. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, maybe learn something new. As always, if you have any questions, comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Links for all of these are in the description below as well. And I'd love to see what you can do with them. So if you make anything cool, whether it be a music video or an interview, uh, I'd love it if you sent it my way so I could check it out. And yeah, as always, happy shooting. Bye-bye.